Welcome folks, this is Robert Was. Today we are going to discuss about time series data. What promise does this concept hold? How does the integration of graph technology monitor data on a real-time basis? Looking at how data changes over time helps us predict what might happen in the near future. To understand better, we have Sandhya and Pallavi who will help us understand graphs in a unique way. No, not the kind with bar charts and pie slices, but graphs that connect points with lines. Hi Pallavi, sorry for arriving late. Actually, I was caught up with one of my projects. Hi Sandhya, that's okay. Uh, nowadays, I hear a lot about time series and graph technology. Could you please brief me on what it is? Yeah, sure. So when I say time series data, it is all about collecting information. So it could be from events, it could be things, people, but the information should happen over a span of time. So real time data is nothing but collecting the data as and when it happens. For example, if I have to quote, you could take the temperature related data, monetary information and also stock prices, the variations in stock prices as it happens over days, right? So that could be one of the examples for time series data. So the main goal would be to analyze this kind of data and check for patterns and trends over a period of time. So we have these data scientists and data analysts who usually go through these kind of data and analyze what had happened in the past and what could happen in the near future. Oh, I get it. For example, monitoring the USD price of a particular security. Today it might reflect as 150 US dollars, while tomorrow it might reflect 152, and the day after, say 155. This way, a price trend summarizes the performance of the security. In that case, the data sources need to be relevant and reliable to get accurate results, right? Yes, you are absolutely right. As you mentioned, Real-time data is collected from various sources. The sources could be internet. We could also have IoT sensors as one of the examples from where we get the data. But checking the authenticity of the sources is very important. So when we get the data, it is not only about collection of data. We need to analyze the data, understand the data, even clean the data further. Store it securely somewhere so that we could analyze and get hold of patterns and trends from that particular data. Most importantly, we have to deal with large amount of data so that we could get real-time insights and it would help us in smart decision making. For better understanding, even visuals could be created. Okay, but how does one classify volumes of daily data? Uh, well, uh, time series data can be classified as regular and irregular data, right? So whenever we collect the data at a regular interval of time, then that classifies as regular time series data. We could collect the data for every hour, every minute, or even every second. So if I have to quote some examples, then they would be stock prices and weather data. Similarly, we have irregular data, right? So when we collect data in an irregular data intervals or time intervals, such kind of data is called as irregular time series data. Customer transactions could be one of the examples to quote here. Okay. How does one model time series using graphs? Well, if I have to speak about modeling the time series data as a graph, I would represent it as a network of nodes and edges. So when I say nodes, the data points in the data could be represented as nodes and the interlinked relationship between these data points can be considered as edges between these nodes. So then we could use the machine learning algorithm or graph algorithms further to analyze the data, discover patterns, discover anomalies and also to forecast the future values. Is it true that TitleGraph's graph analytic platform processes such data and identifies patterns and trends? You've heard that right Pallavi. Moreover, uh, we have power companies that uh, make use of graph analytics platform to make their power grid more intelligent and responsive. Power companies, but how does that integrate with their systems? Well, in power companies, data is usually collected from smart meters and grid sensors in real time. So once we analyze this data, this data would be used further to make decisions in real time so that the power keeps on flowing smoothly. In fact, 
Global Energy Interconnection Research Institute of North America and Tiger Graph have joined forces to make their energy management system in the power industry, making it more faster and more efficient. Oh, have they formed a partnership? Wow, this should create a ripple effect in other industries as well. Yes, that's a genuine possibility, you know. And in the power industry, the data is stored in such a way, it is tailored to store in a traditional setup. So maybe using the traditional RDBMS systems in the form of interconnected tables. Mm -hmm. So if I have to join these tables to derive insights, we would use something called as an inner join operation. And this inner join operation is really time consuming and very compute intensive. So this was forming about 25% of their processing time and 35% of their grid estimation time. So this concept of interrelations can be simplified using the concept of graph, thereby solving the most complex operation and time consuming operations using graphs. I see, but how are those well-timed operations exactly executed using graph database? Well, Tiger Graph stores all these important calculation and solved values in the form of vertices and edges. In the simpler terms, it would be nodes and the edges going out of those nodes. Oh, that makes sense. That means there must be a strict time frame within which the execution of all the calculation takes place. Well, uh, with the help of Tiger Graph technology, the overall execution time was reduced to little above one second. This has beaten the benchmark of the supervisory control and data acquisition sample cycle that stood at 5 seconds. This was only possible for the Garena team with the help of Tiger Graph technology since it is saving them a considerable amount of time. So if they would have uh, continued with their traditional approach of uh, RDBMS system, it would have cost them about 70% of their total power uh, estimation time and also 28% of their grid state estimation time. Wow, imagine graph analytics leveraging time series and tiger graph to efficiently distribute social necessities such as electricity to millions of houses. Thanks Sandhya, you have explained the concept of time series data with the infusion of graph technology in an eloquent manner. Let's meet up soon. See ya. I agree Pallavi, you're most welcome. Likewise, this was an interesting discussion surrounding time series and tiger graph technology. Let's catch up soon for more such interesting discussions on informative topics surrounding graph technology. Take care. Real-time data emulates a constantly evolving movie. Graphs help us understand the plot better. Furthermore, they can be used to track the stock market, weather and more. As technology improves, graphs will become a lot more important for understanding real-time data. Wouldn't it be beneficial for businesses if they could pivot information to forecast trends? In our next segment, we shall discover how to model time series data in graphs and the usage of forecasting techniques. See you in the next one.